As an ANSYS partner since 1984, we are highly committed to helping you design, simulate, and succeed. This video will show you how to install ANSYS. We are looking at the ISO images that I grabbed off of the ANSYS customer portal here in this folder. And all I have done so far is mount each of these three ISO images as virtual drives here on this machine. And we can see those virtual drives uh, present over here. What I'll do now is open the virtual drive associated with disk one. We'll see an executable named setup that we will run as administrator. We'll click the button that says install ANSYS products. We'll agree to the terms of the license agreement. The default installation directory should be appropriate for most people. So we'll leave defaults there. You may have some firewall pop-ups. I'll go ahead and allow access. And now we choose the ANSYS products that we would like to install. Most individuals do not need to install all of the ANSYS products. So you'll just want to take some time and choose the packages that you would like to install. That looks pretty good for uh, my purposes, so I'll click Next. We'll choose Yes to automatically configure uh, the CAD geometry interfaces. And now we will wait until it is finished installing. We now need to choose disk 2. We'll select disk, disk 2, click OK. Now we will finally pick disk 3, click OK. Looks like the installation is now complete and we will click Next and we can see that the installation process is complete. So we can go ahead and exit out of the installer, close out of the installation launcher. Now be sure if you're using the ISO images to go ahead and eject the virtual drives by right clicking and you should be done. Contact us today to discuss your unique physics challenges and find the right ANSYS tools for you.